made uh, D.P. Bierman very happy with a bronze medal. Definitely, Carl. Yeah, we're very happy for our ladies, especially because it's their first time ever in a medal match um, on the World Championships, and they've kept it together. All right, so we put the compound bows away now. We bring out the classic recurve bows at the recurve women's bronze medal match. Poland against Belarus. The world record established by Ukraine, 236 points back on January the 31st of 2013. So Poland against Belarus. And this should be interesting. The team for Poland on target number one, Natalia Lesniak, Karina Lipiarska, and Adriana Zorenska. Shooting for the team from Poland, which drew a bye in the 1 8 round, fought off the French team by seven and then fell by four to Germany. Belarus, Hanna Marusova, Elena Tolkacz, and Ekaterina Timofieva. Those three defeated Greece by 18 points, knocked off Japan by two in the quarterfinals before losing to Ukraine by three. So Lesniak, Lipiarska, and Zorenska facing Marosova, Tolkacz, and Timo Fieva. Bronze medal on the line right now. Freak of watches. It's got a slightly bigger tend to hit, but with only two reference points, only a sight and an anchor point in the back, no peep sight. Makes it a lot harder than with a compound. Eight points. I think that bears mentioning once again, DP, there, the scoring is a little bit different. It's still cumulative scoring, but yes. that entire gold ring for the recurve archers counts as 10. No, um, oh, excuse the me. Entire, entire gold is, is nine, and then that ring in the center is our 10, or is there 10? Um, so. In some disciplines, they've got a smaller ring inside that, which is an X. That's a 10. So 18 points, or excuse me, 26 points for Poland. For Poland. Nine from Belarus. Arusova, who was 17th in the world in 2007 with a nine to start it off for Belarus. Nine as well. Still two up so far. Nine points. So one point lead. Timo Fieva with a nine. After the nine by Tolkacz. And the other thing is, these recurve bows, the further you pull them, the heavier they get. They don't have a lead off like the nine points, like the compounds. So it's it's much more of a, of a challenge to keep them steady in the back and to be able to aim with them. Ten, solid ten points. Takes a lot of strength. Definitely. Taking a lot of time. Solid ten as well. Good shooting there by Poland. They held it together a bit better there in the second three arrows. Let's see, let's see if Belarus can can keep up the good work. Nine. 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 
Setting the table for her teammate. <laughs> Great shot. So Tolkach, who shot outdoors at the World Championships in Belek, shooting well indoors here in Nîmes. And Timo Fieva, who was 17th at the London Olympics, nine point the nine. Two teams going head to head off to the first end, 55 points each. So it uh, looks like we're up for a, for a battle. Coming up in just a few moments in the gold medal match for the women, it'll be Ukraine facing Germany. And then in the men's competition, Germany again taking on the Netherlands for the bronze medal. And in the men's gold medal match, it'll be Ukraine and Japan. So lots of great action still to come here on Archery TV. Here at the Indoor World Championships in Nimes, France. Trying to stay loose physically, mentally, between these ends. And it's got to be a long, long day of waiting, I would imagine, DP. Just waiting to get out here and, Definitely. and get your chance. And as soon as you get there, it's over so fast. You <laughs> blink twice and, and the whole match is over. You didn't even know what happened. So, um, but these girls do very well so far. You can see the nerves got them a little bit there. And, and you know, with, with, with these recurve bows, it's, it's definitely the mistakes get bigger. You know, a small mistake shows much worse, you know, on the, on the target and with the compounds. So they really got to keep their nerves down. Tied at 55. Second end about to begin. Poland up for the battle. Bravo! Maybe Arsaka. Now Lesniak, who competed at the Olo uh, Olympics in London. Hey, była przedtem dziewięć czy nie? A teraz trzeba zobaczyć, może będzie dycha. Tak, to też trzeba zobaczyć. Ten points. That's a great start. Very good start from Poland. Liniował góry, ale nie pomagamy. Karina, Karina, nie pomagamy. Rurka stoi nie ruchomo. 29 points on the first three shots. Much better start than the first three arrows that they shot today, the Polish. And Belarus up for a counter. Eight points. Arusova, uh, not in the neighborhood she wanted to be in. Now Tolkach, Elena Tolkach. We saw her in Poland and Turkey last year on the World Cup tour. She comes up with a 10. Now Timo Fieva, who was seventh at the Outdoor Championships in Torino back in 2011. Nine, eight points. So Poland moving ahead by three points. Belarus just slacking a bit there in that second end. Three arrows to go to tie the... Right, we have a, a lighting issue right now on target number one. And I wonder if they're going to stop the clock for that. One would think they would have to. They'll have to give him a couple of seconds back. Juan Carlos Holgado. What making with this arrow? Polish coach, they're talking hard to the organizers. The first arrow was shot with the light off the target. That can make a big difference oh, in yes. the end. 
especially when there's a tie or one arrow or a well, Poland was cruising along. They had 84 points. So that first shot was a nine. Even with the lights out, they're shooting well. Ten, solid ten. Yeah, very good. <laughs> they could shoot in the dark. Took a shot in the dark. Lipiarska. Solid team, big wheel. Lights on, lights off. Poland shooting well. Seems like they've calmed down a little bit now. Belarus with a 10. They'll put a star up by that nine for Marusova's shot for Belarus. Now Elena Tolkac, who is fighting for her first medal at this level of international competition. But Belarus has some ground to make up. Nine as well. So it's a five-point lead now for Poland. And a look of concern on the face of the uh, archers from Belarus. Looks like the dark light or the dark uh, shot there by Poland is not going to make a big difference at this stage. Still up five points. So. Uh, We'll see what happens in the last, the last two ends. Actually, it's that second end that's now haunting Belarus as they drop five points to Poland in that second end. Poland looking very relaxed at the moment. Ladies all smiles. They know if they can keep it up there, it's going to be all theirs. And Belarus know what to do. They get a fight back. And they show that fighting spirit, trying to get fired up. Revive their spirits, still 12 arrows left to shoot. But Poland has been solid. Right on target. Scoring nines when the lights go off on the target face. Turn the lights back on, they continue to shoot well. Poland looked very, very good earlier this week as they fought off the French team by seven, 232 to 225. Came in ranked 14th in the world. Belarus ranked 12th in the world coming in. And Belarus trying to fight back. Just outside the nine line there for eight points. So Hanna Marusova who competed at the Athens Olympics and the Sydney Olympic Games in 2000, competing here, shooting an eight on the first shot of the third end. Elena Tolkac. And needed that, needed that. Back Solid to back ten tens. as well. Yeah. Timofeyeva delivering with a ten. Game not over yet. Poland. Nine. So here's Lesniak. Who competed in London at the Olympics. Eight, eight points. Oh, the plot thickens just Definitely. a little bit. Lipiarska. Solid ten as well. Good shooting there. So Natalia, or excuse me, Karina Lipiarska 
with a 10 to salvage those first three shots for Poland. Lead is down to three now, 140 to 137. Belarus. So Belarus did take two points off that lead with the first three shots. And they're not out of it yet. The more teens now, the more pressure on the opponents. Tolkach, yeah, 10. <laughs> Belarus in the fighting spirit. Desperately wanting this medal. Now Timo Fieva. Eight points. Creates a little bit of a gap there for Poland. Ten would have made things really interesting. Definitely. Poland up to take the opportunity for the nine points. Zarenska, who was 17th two years ago at the European Grand Prix in Cyprus, or on Cyprus, I should say. Now back to Lesniak. Nine points as well. Nine for Natalia. We will be in Poland once again this summer on the Archery World Cup circuit. Be stage four. Stage four again in, in uh, Wrocław. Wrocław. Beautiful, beautiful city. Ten tens in a row. Three tens in a row. On that top circle, excellent shooting by, by Poland. Not wanting to open up any gaps for Belarus at this stage of the game. But there's still one, one more in to go. And a four-point lead, 168 to 164. Belarus had gotten it down to three, but then gave up a point. Gave back a point on those final three arrows of that third end. And so they are looking at a big mountain to climb right here in this fourth and final end, trailing by four with six arrows to go. And they're going to need a little help, and they've got to take care of their own business. Absolutely. Viva Arc System! Viva Arc System! Great look at Elena Tolkach, the concentration. Natalia Lesniak. <laughs> Anna Marusova. And when it all goes well, high fives all around. But they can't start polishing the trophy just yet. Nope. Still six arrows, and, and with these recurve bows, um, anything can happen in six arrows. It's really, really possible for anything to happen still. So let's see if Belarus can fight back. Such an elegant thing to see as a when a recurve archer shoots a bow. Ten points. Ten points. Well done That's by the way to fight back. Hanna Marusova. <laughs> Elena Tolkach. Ten another points ten. as well. <laughs> Creating some confidence for themselves, for their team there in Belarus, and putting the pressure back on Poland to keep up the good work. Ten points as well. The trifecta, three straight tens. Not over yet. Poland still has some work to do. Ladies from Poland to show they steal nine points. For Adriana Zoranska. Now Natalia Lesniak. Lesniak was ninth in Wrocław last Ten summer. Points. Still a three point lead. One arrow to go in this first half of the last end. Karina Lipiarska. Kiss a button just touching that bottom lip there. 
before the shot goes and nine points. So there's a two point lead with three arrows to go. Belarus fighting back really, really hard in this final, final end. Nine points. Hanna Marusova on her final shot, or excuse me, not her final. Yes, her final shot of this fourth end. Tolkach hoping it's not the final shot. Hoping somehow, some way, they can get it to a shoot off. Definitely, yes. Ten points there for Belarus. Goes without saying, they have to have a 10 from Timo Fieva and then hope they get some help from Poland. 10 points. Excellent shooting. So Timo Fieva does her job, and Poland, or excuse me, Belarus, Belarus. scores 58 points in this fourth end. Excellent shooting. But right now, Poland needs just 27 points to put this match away. And they just got 10 of the 27 right there. So they're going to really make a big mistake now to throw this away, but... Lesniak with a 7. Aha. 10 to win. A 9 will tie. A nine will tie, so then it's a shoot off. I think they heard, Belarus heard that help from Poland they were talking about a couple of minutes ago. Nine Big points. Shot. Shoot off. Nine points gets it to a shoot off. That seven comes back and haunts Poland right now. They have this all but in the bag, but the seven, and see, it goes back to what you've been saying all day, DP. It's not over, it goes down to the wire, you have to keep fighting. And that's that's thing. exactly what Belarus did. Because now in the second last arrow, there were like two arrows left, and then that seven, seven slipped in there, which opened the door again for Belarus. And um, off we go to a one arrow shoot off, and now it can fall into anyone's hands. And this, this thing can go anyway now. Now you think back on that shot that Poland took when the lights went off on target number one on their first shot. They did shoot a nine. Yes. But who yes. knows, maybe when the lights are on, they shoot a ten. That's the thing. And I think that, that that thought stick into their minds at the moment. Or maybe afterwards, depends what happens, but they're gonna they're gonna think about it. And as far as I saw, I don't think the judges gave them any seconds back. I think they lost three or four seconds there which is all a factor. If you put it all together, small small things make one big thing in the end. Well, right now, Belarus has got to feel they've got more lives than a cat. Definitely. They're on their 10th life now <laughs> with uh, against Poland, and they're going to make the best of it. They're going to make the best of it. So here we go, heading for the shoot-off. And Belarus, happy to get into it. The ladies from Poland wishing they already had the medal hanging around their neck. Yep, and this is a very, very stressful moment here when you realize it's only one arrow that decides which team is getting the gold me uh, the bronze medal. And they will alternate back and forth. One team will shoot, then the next team will shoot. Then we'll yes. go back to the first team. So and back and forth they'll go. And it will be... Uh, a horizontal target, not a vertical one. So highest points out of the three arrows will take the match. If it's a tie, any closest arrow to the middle of any target will be decided on as the winning arrow. Marusova, Timo Fieva, Tolkac contemplating the moment. The opportunity at hand to win a bronze medal here at the Indoor World Championships in Nîmes. Big moment. Those are the arrows in their quiver. For the team from Poland. And they will shoot first. 
Zoranska. Know what is expected. You can see the nerves there. That looks like a nine. Just outside the ten ring. Now over to Belarus. And Hanna Morusova. Eyes shining there with a the build up tears. Eight points. So one up from Poland. But still, anything can happen. Judge talked to them there in the back, the uh, coach. Lesniak trying to shake off that points. shot before, and does she Very ever? Good. When it mattered, she put it in there. Excellent shooting. So after shooting the seven, she's right down the middle with a 10. And that could be the arrow in the end if it's a tie that can make the win or lose decision. Eight points. Another looks eight. like Poland. Looks like Poland is hanging in there. Karina Lepiarska. Ranked 42nd in the world. Nine points. Strong finish. Strong finish. No way for Belarus to win this one. Excellent shooting by Poland. Well done. Lepiarska puts it away. Ten points. Belarus. No chance for Belarus as they were too far behind after the first two shots. And Poland now can celebrate a big, big, big victory for the team from Poland. High fives all around. <laughs> coach. <laughs> I think the his, coach may be the happiest one. Yeah, the coach is, he just want to let everybody know. That's it, they've got the bronze medal. Excellent shooting. That was a very, very tight competition, this. And our first shoot-off for today. Well, this afternoon, in this afternoon session, we saw the one with Turkey this morning in the first session in the junior competition. <laughs> and Poland is going to celebrate tonight, I'm sure, as they will claim the bronze medal here in Nîmes.